problem. Okay, for actual loading, and this is the example one. Okay, example nine point five from the textbook. And uh, okay, because statically indeterminate, this is not easy problem. So I think you need many uh, demonstration for this problem. And then I I believe all of you haven't done this before, so you have to get used to this in mechanics or um, mechanic um, engineering calculation. Okay. Okay, so he said there is a bar here. Okay, okay, there's a bar, steel bar. Okay, its diameter ten millimeter and it's fixed on the wall A. Okay, but uh, now we have we apply external load, external loading P, and and the external loading is acting on C. This is maybe just right some somewhere of this bar, of this bar. Okay. And uh, and and the before before applying the external loading, there is a gap between the the end of this bar and, and the wall, and the and the gap is zero point two millimeter before applying the external loading. But after applying this external loading, okay, the the gap is the gap the the bar fill the gap, and uh, the bar finally attach on the wall. Okay, and the wall use a B prime. So okay, so before applying the external loading, there is a gap. Okay, but after the ex apply the external loading, uh, the bar attached to the wall. Okay, and then he wants you to calculate or calculate. Okay, the reaction force from A and B prime. Okay, just then that means that calculate reaction force from 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 the wall. Okay, and second negative the size of the device in the C, and also give you or uh, the modular elastic modulus of steels. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's say, okay, let's say, okay, so let first of all let's draw a yeah, sort of the 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 V by diagram of this bar, okay, and here we just uh draw the bar, um uh, draw the bar, and we <coughs> draw the situation when the bar is fixed on these two walls, so that means the bar is attached on B prime, okay, just after the loading, okay, after the loading. And uh, C probably is here. Okay, C is here, and there's a uh, external load in twenty kilonewton. And attach the two bars some reaction force, uh, from the wall. But actually, right now I don't know the reaction force on the wall because I don't. Um, so I just unknown. And which direction? Uh, what the direction of this unknown force? I really don't know. So. I just assume everything is tension. Okay, that's my habit. I just assume everything is tension. Okay, so let me tension. That means okay here, R A. Okay, here's reaction here R B. I just assume everything is tension. Okay, and 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 at this situation, after after the bar attached to the wall, the whole system is in static. Okay, so that means no translation and no rotation. And this problem we don't have to consider rotation because there is no any moment. Okay, right now there is no any moment. Okay, we don't have we don't have to consider the moment right now. Okay, yeah, if we consider moment, the problem is way 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 more complicated. So right now we don't have to consider any moment. Ah, uh, okay, we don't have, we have to consider the normal force only. Okay. Okay, so um, okay, so because no translation, so uh, and the body is static, so the summation the force must be zero. So okay, let's write down rigid body equilibrium. So it's force point to the left. Okay, that's minus R A plus twenty kilo newton and plus R B prime is equal to zero. Okay, and the problem wants to determine the reaction from the rod uh, from the wall. Okay, so that means you have to find out R A and R B prime. But uh, right now we only have one equation, but we have two unknowns. Okay, so this, right now we cannot solve the R A and R B prime, but we we use all all the information of rigid body equilibrium. Okay, uh, so if you want to solve R A and R B prime, you have to find another equation. Okay, so this is so called statically indeterminate because if, when when you use after you use the rigid body equilibrium equation, you find you cannot solve it, and you can find more more equation to solve it. That's called statically indeterminate. And uh, and we have to find a competitivity equation, but where can we find a competi competitivity equation? And the competitivity equation, most of the time, ninety nine percent, ninety percent, ninety nine percent, the competitivity equation comes from the deformation. 
Okay, so you have to use the uh, use information the, the deformation information to find the, the other to find the competitivity equation. Okay, so for this problem, the deform uh, the deformation uh, deformation information where is the deformation information? Uh, okay. So, actually, this problem gives you the deformation information. He said before, yeah, he said before, before, before apply the law, there is a gap here, 0 0.2 millimeter. And after you apply external loading, the bar fills the gap. Okay, so that means you know, the external loading create a, a deformation of the bar and let the bar fill the gap. Okay, and so, okay, for such flows, okay, so. Uh, so in this, uh, so let's so let's analyze the deformation. So we also use the cut section method. Okay, so there must be okay. Let's use the next. Okay, let's use this boundary here. Okay, this must when we apply this external loading here. There must be a deformation of AC, and also apply this external. There must be some deformation on the CB. And this deformation add together fill the gap. So that means 0 0.2 millimeter. So it's equal to 0 0.2 10 to 10, 10, 10 times 10 to the power minus three. Okay. So that's in another equation. And this is called competitivity equation. Okay. And we use this competitive equation and the original the rich body equilibrium equation. We can find the R and R B prime out. Okay. So, so, and this is a deformation. How the deformation, we can use this deformation to solve the R A and R B prime. Okay. Let's keep, keep, let's keep doing this. Okay. And so here, so, okay, so you have to, okay, first of all, do remember the, the deformation formula. Deformation formula is if for axial loading is hope is n times l divided by a and e. Okay, so here, so we have nac times lac divided by aac times eac and plus n. C B prime times L C B prime and the A A B prime and C B prime times E C B prime and then equal to zero point two times ten to the power minus three. Okay. Okay, so uh, <coughs> okay, so this is after you listen, I think if you're smart enough, I think you know it. We can use this and combine its original equation to solve the solve R and R B prime out. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, so so for this problem, so this raw has a no matter A C and the A C and C B prime, they have the same area, right? A C A A C A A C and A C B prime is the same. They have the same cross section area. Okay, diameter is ten times diameter is ten millimeters, so it's uh, over pi d square. So it's four pi and ten times ten to the minus three square. So what's the value of this? That's calculated. Um, what's the value here? Oh, I didn't write the value. Hmm. Mm hmm. 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, so, okay, let's calculate. 10 times 10 power minus 3. Mm, square times something. E shu chu shu. So it's 7.85 times 2 minus 5. Mm, I think it's same square. Okay. Okay, as first, uh, okay, and EAC and ECB are the same, okay, because it has the same rod. Okay, so these two sections will have the same modulus, 20, 20 hundred gigapa. Okay, that means 20 times 10 to the power 9 par. Okay, so, and LAC and LCB prime, do we know the information yet? Yeah, LAC 4 times 400 millimeter, okay, CB prime 800 millimeter, okay, so let's let's use the let's right let's calculate a times e first okay because a e they are the same let's calculate a times e first so it's um seven point five power minus five and uh times 20 times 10 power nine so and divided by okay it's 
15.7 times 10 to the power 6. Okay. So let's say, so that's we have NAC times LAC is 400 times millimeter and uh, 0.7 times 6 plus 15.7 times 6 or so NCB prime times you know, this 800 times 10 power minus 3 and equal to 0 0.2 times 10 to the power minus 3. Mm, that's very good. So we can divide it, this together and we can multiply this uh, denom uh, denominator to the right. So we have 400 NAC plus 800 NCB prime equal to mm, 0 0.2 times 10 to the 7. Um, okay. Eh. Then she. Okay, it's three point one four times ten to the power six. Okay, so okay, so from the competitivity equation, we have this uh, relationship. NAC, normal force of AC. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, uh, I, I forgot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, okay, we have a normal force in this section, and a normal force in CB section, and has this equation. Okay. So, next time, okay, can we find the relation between the normal force and the reaction force? Can we find it? How to find it? Okay. So, that's why we also need the yeah, cut section is okay we cut section here and cut section here okay so we use cut section math here to find a relation between nac nac and normal force on ac and cv section and the reaction force yeah because you need this connection without this connection you still you still cannot solve a reaction force from the wall okay so finally we use this uh, cut section method again so i will assume the section here is nac and here is ra okay here is uh, a okay and then we cut the CB section. CB section is here. It's A, and this is C, 20 kilo newton. Okay, to the right, and here is N, CB prime, and here's a reaction force A. Okay, okay. So from this cut section method, okay, from the cut section method, okay, let's do the cut section. Cut section, okay, the section in the equilibrium, okay. Well, this uh, what this tell you. This tell you. What this tell you? Very important. Okay, let this, this tell. This tell you minus R A plus N A C is equal to zero. Okay, let's tell you N A C. N A C is R A. Okay. And here, what this tell you is which body equilibrium, right? Don't forget. So minus R A plus twenty plus N C B is equal to zero. What did, what does this tell you? This tell you N C B N C B prime is equal to R uh, N C B prime is equal to R A minus twenty. Okay, so. We got another equation here. So that means NAC is equal to RA and NCB prime is equal to RA minus 20. So we put these two, put these two, put these two relationship back into this equation, back into this equation. Okay, what will we have? We will have 400 RA plus 800. R A minus twenty equal to three point one four ten times ten to the power six. Okay, so we finally got the other equation to solve. Okay, so you see here, here is one, right? Here's another one. Yeah, you see it? Two equation, two unknowns. Okay, okay, and then what is R A? Okay, what is RA? What is RA? From this equation, what is RA? Uh, let me see. Uh, RA is, let me see. RA 3.16. Uh, let me see. Okay, what is RA? Let's calculate. Okay, so his, uh, here is 3.14 times 1.6. 
and uh, plus eight hundred times twenty. Uh -huh. Okay, and divide it by one hundred thousand. And uh, eh? what? What? Uh, two six three four. Oh, that's too small. Do I got something wrong here? Do I got something wrong here? Do I got something wrong here? Three one four reason. Oh, I got. I think I got something. Wrong. Okay, I think I had. I missed something here. Okay, so kilo newton. Uh, this is okay. Where is the where should where is wrong? Kilo newton r twenty kilo newton. This kilo newton and eight times twenty. Ah, I see. I see. Mm hmm. Laundry R A two times R A is kilo newton. So I think the problem is the kilo newton. Mm -hmm. Should be no problem. Ah, zero point two three. Oh, I think. Okay, three three three. Yeah, I think the problem is the kilo newton issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so right now I have to. I think I have to. This is this kilo newton issue. Kilo newton issue. Okay, so I think I need to. This should be kilo newton. Mm, so I think the problem is here. Yeah, the problem is here. This is the kilo newton. Okay. I think the problem is here. Here, I think it's two. This should be times. This should be times one thousand here. So, so one thousand here. So so here is a thousand, two hundred thousand. Okay, mm -hmm. and let's try. Let's try mm -hmm. thousand. So four point one four times ten to the power six, plus a hundred times a hundred times two t kilo ten thousand. Okay, and divided by one two zero zero. Okay, okay. So, so okay, it's fifteen. Yeah, okay, so that's right. Okay, my my problem, my issue is this should be here should be twenty times twenty kilo newton. Here should be twenty times times one thousand. Okay, because here here the normal force here here is newton. Yeah, the here is Newton. Okay, the formula here is Newton. The formula here is Newton, so be, you should be very careful. Okay, so here, so here is so here is Newton. Newton here is Newton. Here's Newton. Okay, NAC and NCB. The unit is Newton. Okay, so when I use this equal to RA and and, and RA, so this is thing is Newton. Okay, so RA is. So finally, you have fifteen point nine five kilo newton. Okay, and here the first equation, yeah, here is kilo newton. <laughs> okay, so be very careful. This one is kilo newton. So you put R A in there. So what will you get? R A in there. You and then you get R B prime is. You get R B prime. I think it's minus. Okay, minus four point zero five, and it's kilo newton. Okay, the R A is is positive, but initially we initially we assume the R A is point to the left, and you get a positive. That means it's really, is is really point to the left. Okay, and initially we assume the R B uh, uh, R B prime is point to the right, but we get a negative answer. That means R B prime is 
point pulled to the left. Okay, so these two forces are all point to the left. It's the same as the textbook's answers. Okay. Okay, so it is a typically a statically indeterminate problem, and this problem you have to be careful with the unit. <laughs> yeah, you should be careful with the unit. It's very annoying. It's very very annoying. Okay, so okay, be careful with your unit. Okay, it's, it happens. Okay, so I just stop demonstration here. Hope you can understand this problem more. Okay, see you in another video. Okay, bye bye. Ah, it's so long.